Hi everyone, as you might know, uh, Clearlight Saunas is part of a amazing initiative called B1G1. And I'm really privileged to have the founder of B1G1 here with me today, Paul Dunn. And I would love uh, for him to introduce him because he has a resume that is very long and you know I don't <laughs> even know half of it because it's impressive what you have already put together so far in your life. But uh, Paul, um, thank you so much for making the time. Oh, and I would man. love to hear sort of how would you describe yourself right now, what you do, because I know you do a lot. You are a real uh, shaker. Yeah. And move By the way, for everyone, for everyone listening, first of all, thanks for tuning in. And the reason, of course, I have a long, uh, a long resume is because uh, I've been around for a few <laughs> years as well. Uh, <laughs> so, um, but I think an interesting way of describing that is to uh, let people know why, uh, why I get up every morning, right? And that's kind of, uh, um, and I'll, I'll tell you another thing on that in just a moment. I, well, in fact, let me tell you that now. Um, uh, as it relates to age, um, uh, Zig Ziglar, who you would remember as you know a great motivational speaker and so on, he was eighty-three, and someone said to someone said to Zig, uh, Zig, don't you think you know eighty-three years old you should slow down? And and Zig said, well, no, the opposite because I've got less time left than you, so I need to speed up, and that's kind of like where I am. So uh, so uh, to. To, as an introduction uh, I, 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 uh, to uh, the people joining us, and again, thank you for doing that, uh, I, I would say this, that I, I get up, I literally get up every morning uh, to help people create more impacts in their businesses and in our world than they could ever imagine. And so I have this very privileged position where you know I'm working with something like 3,000 uh, businesses around the world, and together, as of uh, about uh, 10 days ago, I think it was, uh, together we had created uh, a, a staggering, uh, I, I think staggering anyway, a uh, staggering uh, 250 million uh, giving impacts. By the way, there's a much better way of saying that, which is, uh, which is a quarter of a billion, right? That's kind of like a, an interesting uh, Yes, that is a better way. That is impressive. Yeah. Amazing. And that is all based on, in one way or another, the UN sustainability goals uh, with all the impacts that, that you offer people to, to, to have, correct? Yeah. And, and I think more and more, you know, we're really understanding the importance of those goals, which, as you know, were set in 2015. And, and these are, you know, 17 goals that have 169 uh, targets uh, underneath them that uh, that we have to literally have to uh, meet by 2030. Otherwise, we're history. Uh, so they <laughs> they are very very important goals. And yes, in here in B1G1, which is the the company that I, that I co-founded, as you as you mentioned, uh, that's what we do. The the goals kind of underpin that whole thing and give us. Um, a really interesting way of measuring uh, the impact that we make as individual companies and then together as uh, as part of the movement. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's kind of cool. So, you know, I, I, I guess the bottom line of all that, uh, Sebastian, is I enjoy getting up every morning. Right? <laughs> I'm so pleased. I can certainly tell. <laughs> so um, tell us a little bit about B1G. Like, what, what is it and how did this all start it? Wow, that's a, that's a, a, a great a, a great question, and and it started. You know, it's it's like it's it started. It's almost like uh, you know when we think about Clearlight, for example. You know, mm. probably the same thing. We all have these moments, right? These moments in our life where something happens, and and our reaction to it becomes kind of interesting. And uh, in in fact, a, a mutual friend of ours. Uh, yours and mine once said that where we are in our life and our businesses right now is a, 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 a the, the sum or the result of all of those choices that we have made at every moment of, of you know where we've had the opportunity to do that. That's where we are right now, and so uh, these moments I think are very very important. And I had a moment in uh, 2007 where I was uh, I had been well, I was mentoring this lovely Japanese lady. Uh, whose name is Masami, Masami Sato. And she came into this room. And as you know, uh, Sebastian, when, when you're mentoring someone, it's you that gets to ask the questions, right? And the mentee, if that's the word, they get to, uh, they get to answer them, right? 
So, uh, but this time she said to me, well, is it okay if we change that around in this lovely Japanese accent? And I asked you a question and I said, sure, go ahead. And she said, well, it's not so much a question, it's more of uh, an imagination thing. So she said, could you, uh, what if, she said, what if you, 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 you could imagine a world where every time business was done, something great happened in our world as a result of that. Now at that time, I was what most people would, would regard as an Aussie bloke, you know, like, and, and I, so my response to it was, oh yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> and she, she was smart enough to know that I didn't know what I was talking about, right? I was just like responding. So she said, uh, where's the fact that, you know, I, I'm not sure you actually get what I said, and so I said, well, help me understand more. And, and so she said, well, just imagine you go to an electronics store. Uh, she mentioned one begins with the name Harvey. Uh, in, in there. And uh, so she said, imagine you go to that store and you, oh, and she said, by the way, she said, I've, I've given the idea a name. And I said, oh, okay, what's the name? And she said, it's called Buy One, Give One. Mm. And, and she said, imagine you go to that electronics store and you buy this, you know, a plasma TV. And I go, woo, woo, woo. Hang on a second, Miss Honey. If I if I go there and I buy a plasma TV, what did you say it was called? Buy one, give. They're not going to give me another TV. I mean, that's that's a business model that's crazy, right? You can't do that. And uh, so she said, "No, you really don't understand." And I said, "Well, help me understand it." And she said, "Well, imagine when you do that, be and you wanted to do it because you wanted, you know, like a bigger vision or a sharper vision or something. That's why you're doing that." So imagine at the moment that you got that, that someone who could not see got the gift of sight just because you did that. And, you know, <laughs> something like, oh, oh, oh I, I, I think I get that. And, <laughs> and, and I'm, I'm surrounded by books, you know, at the time. And, and she said, oh, you know, when someone uh, sells a book, uh, a tree gets planted. And I happen to have a, a cup of coffee there as well. And uh, she said, oh, when, you know, someone buys a cup of coffee, if a child in need gets access to life-saving water. And I, I, I said, that, that is the best idea I've ever heard in my life. Uh, can, <laughs> can I be your mentor, uh, you know, mm. for the rest of your life? And it, it, it took her a little while to say yes to that. It actually took her 24 hours, and she made a little video for me that helped her. And then we changed up. And it's been the most, uh, you know, that's a, that was in 2007. And so this past 14 years has been the most exciting time that, that I've, you know, I've, I've got a little lump in my throat then. <laughs> the yeah. most exciting time that I can ever remember. Uh, and I think uh, the big learning in that is because like you, just like you, 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 you come to a point where you realize there's more than you think there is, if that, if that makes sense. There's, there's <laughs> something something bigger, if you like, than, than you. And, uh, and, you know, I think Stephen Covey, uh, first of all, said, you know, there's this thing called a North Star, you know, that we, that we kind of aim for. And so, um, yeah, so that, that's how it all started. And, uh, and that's where it continues. And, uh, you know, I, as I said, I'm, I'm thrilled to be a part of it. And, of course, thrilled to have you being a part of it as well. <laughs> mm, that is amazing. And, and you guys... Um, expand. I think the the impact, the type of impacts that you you have all the time. So for 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 us, for example, one one of the impacts that we give is related to uh, the footprint of a sauna. So you know we're using we're using sustainably harvested wood to build our saunas, but nevertheless, you know we're using wood. So one one of the impact that we felt was really really useful to use is um, that footprint of a sauna. We want to give back in restoring and protecting yeah. a forest. In, in different parts of the world, depending on where we sell, and that that's absolutely amazing, and and that that is protected for for a long, long time. Um, what, what many people would would, would wonder, and I, I have had this question, people asking me is, how do you know that this project is right? You know, like <laughs> there are so many different options. How can you verify that this is really, you know, a, a good a good charity? And and I think. Um, it is a really important question, but I also know that you take a lot of care to make sure that you find the yeah. right product. Can you can you talk a little bit about that? Well, I, I think uh, first of all, you're you, you're quite right. It, it it is an important question. It really is an important question, 
And, uh, you know, in B1G1, as of now, I think there are something like 450-odd uh, projects. Um, but it is very, very tough for a project to become a B1G1 project because exactly because of the question that you just asked. And mm. so uh, what happens is there is a process. You can't, you, you know, a, a, a project that is doing great work just can't suddenly say, oh, I want to be, you know, part of B1G1. You have to go through uh, some really interesting protocols uh, and stuff, and, and uh, you know, and, and, and they, you know, they, they have to have a track record and all of those sorts of things. And of course, we, <laughs> once they are, uh, become B1G1. But I, I mean, what it means is when you see a B1G1 project, like, for example, the tree one that you were talking about, you, mm -hmm. you know, you, you really can trust that it, it happens. Um, and and uh, part of the reason, obviously, is as well, is we monitor the fact that it does as well, right? So <laughs> we're kind of acting on your behalf just to make sure that, uh, that... And by the way, we're also doing other things as well uh, to, uh, to make sure that that's there. You know, we visit the projects and so on. Um, but there's, there's a whole host of things that go on. But one of the most interesting things I think that goes on is that uh, you know, we, we always ensure that 100% of uh, the, 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 the funds that you give in order to, you know, to, to deal with your environmental footprint and to become kind of like carbon positive almost, mm. um, it goes where you want it to go. And we, we actually add back to that so that you know, the, uh, uh, the, the bank, the little piece that the bank takes off, uh, we, we make that back up again. So we can always look you in the eye and say, no, no, 100% actually actually went. So yeah, it's, um, but it's a, it's a great question. Uh, and what it means is you, you can have this, this sense of knowing that all of that is under control. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. What are some other projects that you can think of in the connection of uh, business businesses and their activities? I love the one with the site. And I, I guess to expand a little bit on that, that would probably mean uh, certain eye surgeries that help people to see again. Yeah, exactly. Or to, right, yeah. Do you well, have a couple other ones? Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah right. well, I saw, I saw some research actually uh, three days ago uh, which said that um, the world of giving, if you like, is, is, is changing um, uh, for all sorts of reasons. And uh, it said that a, a, a stagger, this is a staggering number to me. This is a really staggering number. The number was 66, easy number to remember. 66% of, of people think that ongoing education is really, really important. Right, so so, and we see that uh, a lot in in B one G one, where people would be linking their activities to making sure that you know kids uh, someplace else, wherever that someplace else is, you know, are are given the opportunity to to uh, get uh, an education and and so make a bigger contribution to the world as well. Uh, so that that's kind of interesting. So. And, and also, I think the other thing that's very interesting is that the, the selection of the projects, we, we, we like to look for projects that are circular. And what, what I mean by that is there's a distinction between handing out and handing up. And, and what we like to do is to find things where we hand up, where there is like a, 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 a give back on the other end. Now, sometimes, you know, if, if a kid doesn't have, have a glass of water, you can't say, well, let me teach you to dig a well. You know, you, you, you've actually got to give the, the well. Mm. But generally speaking, we love to see, and by the way, the really interesting thing on the education one is one of my favorite projects, actually, uh, is when the, when, the, when the parents in these, the, 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 this particular case, I'm thinking of India, in these remote regions, and where the parents see the difference. I know and I've been there, you can see the difference between one village and another, where they've got this, the, you know, the e-learning systems in. The kids, the kids are like from different countries. And so the parents think, or they can see that, right? So in every case, Sebastian, what they do is they go to the quote unquote schoolmaster in the quote unquote school, which is typically, you know, a tin shed somewhere. And they ask the, 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 the school teacher, uh, oh, look, can we, this is the parents, can, can you open the school at night so that we can learn? Now, that's really uh, interesting. But then what's even more interesting is that 
the, t the teacher, of course, says yes, right? Mm -hmm. But then the parents get a real big surprise when it's actually the kids that are doing the teaching in the evening. The <laughs> so, <laughs> it's wow. a lovely flip, yeah. <laughs> yeah, wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, and I've seen um, some, some people in, in our network would uh, give, give one day of education per email sent or um, or per com comment made in a live live uh, webinar or that type of thing and that, I think that's a really great uh, way to encourage actually also the participants to interact more because they know every time there's an interaction with that business there's an, a positive action somewhere else in the world yeah and there was an interesting one recently uh, because you know you're uh, very appropriately concerned uh, mm. with what's happening in the environment and, and stuff, mm. you know, and, the, and that crisis that's there. And what you also see is some very interesting things going on where there's this company or this this project which, which builds schools, right? They build mm. schools. And, and just recently they discovered that there was a better way of doing it than using concrete and, you know, taking a while and the buildings weren't that stable. And, and that better way, funnily enough, was mm. was to rescue the plastic trash from the ocean and then process oh. that plastic trash into plastic bricks <laughs> mm. and then to build the schools from those plastic bricks. And guess what? They can build the school in three days. The thing is more stable. And, you know, and so many more it's kids amazing. can get... Yeah, it's amazing, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. You just have to think sometimes a little bit further and, and things like that emerge. Yeah, and I right. think the, the time is really ripe. You know, I, th I think people really like the more holistic approach to, well, to business at the end of the day and, and also how, how we do things. And everyone acknowledges that we are actually uh, interconnected anyway. So something needs to to happen to really bring that desire for more and more people in the world. As you said, like 66 people uh, percent are are concerned about things like that so you you know education and, and that so you know it's, it's great to see that that really then also creates a momentum exactly and i think there's another aspect to that which is which is really interesting um, you know we we do these uh, b1g1 study tours when you know when we can travel and the, the most interesting thing about it is the name it's, like it's a study tour okay it is it is we <laughs> it's very interesting we, we're not, you know, the sort of rich white guys who sort of end up in a place and, mm -hmm. you know, and here's the money and all of that kind of stuff. No, 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 no. Um, that's not, not how it should work. It, it, it's creating, you know, it's creating the, the wrong kind of dependency, if you will, right? Mm -hmm. So we are there to learn and we, we learn, like the thing I just told you, right? We learn some amazing, amazing, amazing things as, as a result of all that. So it's a really nice kind of coming together uh, of uh, people wanting to do some great things. Yeah, and I guess that's also creates a longevity in these these projects because people learn and educate and stay in touch with what's happening and what's important to them. And I, I would think that, you know, your organization is there for the long, long haul. And um, I feel that as above, so below, that you probably live also a life yourself that is really focused on longevity of whatever you do in your relationships and in your health and so on, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, you know, I'm, uh, it's like, you know, a lot, a lot of us, are, uh, of course, uh, focused on, you know, the, well, not focused on, but we're influenced by what happens in these times that we're in, which we've not experienced as, as a race before. Mm. Um, and, you know, I, I have no wish at all to, to minimize, you know, some of the huge issues right, that, we, that we have to overcome. But, I, and I think there's huge learning in all of that, right? Like, how could you possibly now not understand that we are all connected? Something you just said, right? You, you, you cannot understand that. <laughs> you know, you've got to say, oh, yeah, I, I get that now. I get that. Yeah. Right? But there are all sorts of benefits. Like, uh, for example, since the 12th of March, 2020, um, did I get the year right? I, I, you know, my, my sense of timing is, is like all <laughs> over the place. Um, I have been unable to fly. On the 12th of March, I got back out from Melbourne, a, a session uh, that I was speaking at in Melbourne, and, and um, I got back. It was the last flight, as I understand it. And, uh, you know, the year before that, my, my life had been very close to 600,000 kilometers in the air. 
Okay, that, that's what uh, it was, right? Cheap. So all of a sudden you go zero. And, yes. and there's all sorts of interesting things that happen from that. You know, when I used to get back from a trip, my, my kids right, would, would say, they wouldn't say, hey, welcome home, it's great to see you. They would say, <laughs> when are you leaving? <laughs> uh, that was the uh, great thing. Uh, wow. And now that thing that you, you see behind me there, that's actually a little forest, or actually quite a big forest uh, here in Singapore. <laughs> and, uh, and I run around that uh, every day. I, I went this morning. Uh, on, on that, and so the result of that is that uh, I'm. Uh, I was going to say I lost uh, 14 kilograms, uh, but someone said to me I should never talk about loss. So apparently, the way I, I should say that is that I have released 14 kilograms to the atmosphere. <laughs> in, in so you know, and and family life is uh, is a little bit different, and. Uh, mm -hmm. And you know, I know, I know you've been going through similar things where you know mm -hmm. you really understand um, how important, for all sorts of reasons, our own well-being and all of those sorts of things. Just how important those connections are. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quality of life. Huh? How would you how would you define high quality? Of life, like in terms of your work environment as well as your private life, it's a slightly different question. But I would love to get to know you a little bit better, and I think this question might actually go towards that. Well, yeah, it's a, it's <laughs> it is a that's a that's a really deep question. But let me answer it in uh, hopefully a way that is um, useful for um, uh, the people who uh, are joining us, um, and you know. It's very possible, isn't it, uh, to feel lost sometimes, right? You know, you, you're, you're not sure why you're waking up in the morning and, you know, things aren't working uh, that way. <laughs> and I like what my, my fellow TEDx uh, speaker, uh, Brene Brown, said about that. <laughs> and in her first uh, talk, which I think has been viewed by like 47 million people, or something, um, six minutes in, six minutes into that talk, she, you know, she, Brene is like a, you know, a ball of fun, right? I mean, she's just amazing. And, but she has this moment where she pauses and, and she talks oh. about, and this was, um, you know, five, six years ago now, where she talked about the rapidly increasing uh, rate of suicides in, mm. particularly in teenage boys. Mm. And, and that was, you know, that was pre pandemic, okay? And, and she said, she said this, she said, connection is why we're here. And mm. she went on to say, it's what gives us meaning and purpose to our lives. And I, I, mm -hmm. and I, I love that. So, you know, when you have no sense of meaning or purpose, guess what? It's probably because you have no connection. And the reverse is obviously true. And I think one of the things that I, I've learned and I, and I try to apply is that in those moments, you know, you do have those moments, right? <laughs> it's, just, it's just the human condition, right? And, and uh, at least for me, right? <laughs> you go, oh my God, what's this all about? And, <laughs> and you know, and what I think, and without wishing to uh, uh, sort of make any judgments on, because I'm learning not to do that, but... Uh, on, on the great professionals who help us with those sorts of things. And mm. one of the things they frequently do as well, you've got to go inside. You've got to go inside, right? I, I, I think that that's actually the wrong way. I think what you have to do is to go outside. Instead of looking mm. inside, we mm. look outside. And when we look outside in a particular, in a particular way, we see things and go, goodness me, I, look at that. I, you know, I can help fix that or I can help mm. fix that. Or I can, you know, express some gratitude to someone like right here in front of that, 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 uh, that forest. There's a bus. In fact, uh -huh. there are zillions of buses, as you probably know, in Singapore, right? And, and, and it's amazing. I mean, every 30 seconds, you know, there's, there's this bus, right? So, um, or a fleet of buses. And so I get on the bus, and since the pandemic, I've amplified this. And I will get on, and I got my little card, right? And, I, and it goes beep. And I always will stop, and I'll look at the, uh, the person, the male or female who's driving those big buses. Uh, and gosh, haven't they done an amazing thing in the, in the pandemic? 
And I'll just look at him and I'll, I'll make sure we, we get eye contact and I'll just say, thank you for stopping. That's mm. the and, mm. and they're like, really? <laughs> I would have been fine if I didn't. Kind of thing. But but I'm I'm hoping that as a result of that, so, well, I'm not hoping anything, but, but I imagine sometimes that they go home and they say to their family, hey, guess what? You know, I was at bus stop 172 <laughs> this morning and this weird guy got on and, you know, with Pete and, and said, thank you for stopping. Uh, <laughs> so do you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, that, yes. it's that outward focus. And the, and the reality is, the reality is that every single one of us, I, th I shouldn't say the reality is, I think the reality is that every single one of us is at our best when we're giving. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean giving money. It means when we're giving, right? And when we're, yeah. when we're expressing gratitude, when we're just being present, you know, when we're, when we're giving. When we're, you know, helping the little old lady, you know, across the road or whatever. It Absolutely. Is. And we need to understand that, you know, for example, in, in your case, you know, where you've now got, you know, some great things happening to, to deal with the environmental impact and, mm -hmm. and that. You, you cannot help but feel great about that. You know, you, you yes. feel great. So yes. It comes back to you when you think out there is, is yes. I think, what my experience has been with that. I absolutely agree. And thanks for sharing that. I, I grew up, my, my, my grandmother taught me a lot of things. And, and one thing she, and most of them, not by telling me a lesson, but just me observing what she was doing. And I know that she was always particularly chatty and, and focused on the person that would serve her, for example, the checkout person. And what I made out of that over time is that for me, there was this goal of just putting a smile on a checkout person's uh, face. 100%. And, yeah. and, you know, it's, it's one of those things that, yes, it makes them feel good, potentially, or at least, you know, lightens the day or what, whatever it is. But it also gives me a lot of satisfaction to to have made the effort, and, and it's actually not effort if you do it every time because then it just becomes who you are. But it's, it's certainly something that goes both ways. You know, just because you help someone, it doesn't mean that it doesn't do anything for you. In fact, often That's it. it makes the person that gives, <laughs> you know, I don't know, I wouldn't say feel even better than the person that receives, but there's certainly, it's, it's not a one-way street by any means. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I remember I remember once uh, I was asked to do a session uh, at a school in, in Brisbane, and there's a whole sort of backstory of this, but I was asked to do this session, and it was actually for someone who's uh, uh, a child of someone who you know, mm. and, uh, and uh, she was 14 at the time, and, and she and her brother had said, can you, you know, I know you're going to be in Brisbane. Can you come and address our class? And I'm thinking, oh, okay, you know, it's going to be 40 people. So what happens is they've said, oh, you know, Mr. Dunn is coming. And, and the, the principal of the school said, let's everybody, you know, come. So there's, there's 550 kids. And, and, she, and she, is, she is going, and she is a very introverted person. And, uh, and she was going to, yeah, or she did introduce me, and so uh, before uh, we uh, we went live, uh, I said uh, to her, uh, "I said, is there is there Jess? Is there anything that you want me to make sure that I, you know we leave behind, you know, with your colleagues?" And and she said, "Oh, straight away, straight away, just literally." She didn't think about it, and, and she said, oh, "Oh, oh, yes." And I said, "Oh, really? What's that?" And and she said. I would love you to leave behind that when we give, we sometimes think that the beneficiary is the person to whom we are giving. She said, and what we frequently forget is that actually we're the beneficiary. I went, oh my God. Uh, what do they say? You know, out of, out of the mouths of babes uh, comes, uh, comes mm. wisdom, right? So yeah, I think you're, yeah. you're absolutely spot on with that. Yeah, it's beautiful. And I think something that I remind sometimes people in, well, you know, who are in need or, or you know, look for something, you know, and, and yeah, w whatever the situation is, like it's certainly not a good situation, um, that they can ask for help because it gives an opportunity to the person who gives to give oh. and, and to feel good about that. And I think we forget this, like asking for help 
because it really makes the other person feel like, oh, I'm useful. You know, again, talking about connection. I have a real connection with this. I have a purpose. Why I connect with this person? Because I help. You know, that, so that is such that is that mm. is such. Uh, no, that's such an important insight. Right? It really is an important insight, and and that is, yeah, exactly. You know, when we put up our hand, which is sometimes difficult for us to do, mm. right? it's 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 really helping the other person as much as it's helping you. It's not. <laughs> they have it. That's right. Um, Paul, you you real inspiration with the energy that you bring to any time. I've met you and I'm sure it's the same just as much with anyone else that you interact with. Um, and, and you have mentioned a little bit sort of like how you interact with people when, uh, you know, when you step into the bus, but are there some lifestyle rituals that make sure you have that mindset, that mindset of wanting to help doing the right thing, you know, and connect and all of that is, is do you have some that you think these are the cornerstones of why I can keep this character being yourself yeah. on, on track with that. Yeah. Well, it, it is very, very important to, uh, to have these, uh, these rituals. And you know that you and I kind of hang out with some interesting people who have some really <laughs> interesting, uh, really interesting rituals. Uh, but yeah, I, 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 I do have some. And, and importantly, we as a family have some. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, frequently we talk about you know about legacy people often talk about legacy right mm. and the reality of a legacy is you, you 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 know some people think about you know leaving the legacy and the reality of, of a legacy is that you don't have any choice about that right you are going to leave one right i mean there's no, there's no, no question about that the question mm. is what is it is it a legacy of 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 contribution or is it one of consumption what is it right mm -hmm. but then you start to think about that in a slightly different way and you start you start to think well hang on a second um leaving is like you know way over there but what about living living a legacy how could you how could you possibly uh, uh, you know live a legacy and then mm -hmm. i play with words a lot as you know and so so i go from you know leaving a legacy to living a legacy But then the other thing that I try to find is leveraging the legacy. You know, how can you, how can you do that? And so one of the things you can do is you can have these lovely rituals. Uh, for example, I, I know I, I don't personally do this, but I know a family that uh, that happens to have a a place set at dinner, which is never filled. It's uh, like an open place and it's there. <laughs> and the, their ritual is to remember how lucky they are because they actually can sit at the table. Uh, our ritual, or one of the rituals, there are a number of them, but one of them uh, is, is to have a gratitude journal where we flip and look at, you know, what particular thing are we grateful for today? You know? mm. And I remember the first day we did that, first day, right, was <laughs> when my, my son, who's now 17, uh, when he was, uh, in fact, just a couple of days ago, And uh, he was like seven, or uh, six, I beg your pardon, at the time. Yeah. And so we, we said, you know, we're going to do this gratitude thing, right? And, and, and I'm, I'm thinking, I wonder what's going to happen, you know? So, Brother John, so I said, Kai, so what, what are you grateful for today? And right off the bat, you know, again, out of the mouths of babes, right? He says, the sun. And, and I said, oh, That's interesting. Why the sun? Right? And he's well because the sun helps us grow the plants, which helps us, you know, have stuff mm -hmm. they want to eat and everything else. So, so you know, it's kind of interesting. And then uh, there's a lovely Japanese uh, ritual uh, talking about the dinner, uh, or for that matter, any any meal where the Japanese have this way of so here's the, here's the phrase, right? The phrase is mm. "ita dakimas." And as you, you may know with your, mm -hmm. <laughs> your global travels, it basically is a thing that is saying not just thank you for the food, but it's, it's kind of thanking everybody in the food chain, you know, including the, the, you know, the farmer who actually planted mm -hmm. the seed and all of that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So it's a little phrase that just gets you focused on, no, it's not about you, right? <laughs> it's, you know, there's, there's so much else uh, going on. So... Those are, those are a couple of them. And, mm. and interestingly, since the pandemic, uh, that ritual of going on the run every morning is, uh, is uh, a pretty interesting ritual, right? Mm -hmm. and, 
and it's very interesting some of the things I've found out uh, uh, about uh, about doing that and how that relates to you know the goals that you, you want to achieve during the day and everything. I'm not saying everybody should go running, or, you know, but, <laughs> but, but I, what I guess I'm saying and where your question uh, is mm. is should we all have things right that we that we do right. And, and the answer to that is yes. And if you're looking for a good book on that, uh, a guy called Charles Duhigg, as in D-U-H-I-G-G, -G, uh, mm -hmm. wrote one of the best books on it. It's called The Power of Habit. It's a really, yes. really cool book. Oh, well written as well. Like, oh, yes, isn't I, it well I, written, I, right? You remember I, the, the I, opening yeah. chapter, you know, where you're, you're in Baghdad. It's like, oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah. yeah. No, and the reason it's well written, by the way, is that guy, that guy was a journalist, right? And so, mm. you know, obviously they... They know how to write, and uh, but it's a very, very powerful book. That one. Very powerful. Yeah, it's one of my favorites for sure. Yeah. Terrific. Oh, thanks for that insight. Hey, um, if I think about so so B one G one, as I know it, is something that um, especially companies can interact with, and then you know the customers of that that company, of course, uh, have an impact by purchasing of that company. Mm -hmm. uh, it, uh, is there is that the way that people at the moment can participate, uh, 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 take part in in B one G one, or are there other ways to, for people who don't have a company to to also give? Yeah, but th that's a very very interesting question uh, because uh, you know uh, many times people say, well, as individuals, you know, what can we do? Mm -hmm. Is there a place that we can go? And I, th I think one of the things that is very challenging, and you would find this too, is that, is that you've got to, um, it's very, very challenging for us all to be all things to all people. We, we can't. We, we, much as we would love to be, you know, you actually, someone once said to me, you know, when you try to be uh, all things to all people, you end up being nothing to everybody, right? So, and I'm not sure that's true, but I, I get the message, right? So, <laughs> so B1G1 chooses to, to say, uh, chooses to say this, right? That um, most people in the world, around about 90% of them, uh, are working for companies. That's what most of them are doing. Uh -huh, and uh -huh. so when we connect the companies, and as you already know, uh, then what happens is the level of engagement, in, but you're, and in, 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 in clear light, it's already good, right? But it adds uh -huh. a little bit to that as well. And so they're seeing that happening, and we're getting, you know, fantastic feedback on that, uh, where where people say that what it does is create a giving spirit in the company. So, so mm -hmm. our way of reaching the individuals, if you will, is, mm -hmm. is uh, there is there is another way, but but our way is, is saying no, no. When <laughs> if you know a company that should be here, then you know mm -hmm. make sure that they go to b1g1.com and you know find out some more about it. So that would be one way. Uh, there is another way uh, where, uh, where, and obviously the other way, and this is really interesting, I saw a study from Deloitte's uh, yesterday, uh, no, uh, two days ago, which talked about what happens when, for example, a company like, like you, like, like yours, yeah. gets on purpose. The stats are just amazing as to, as to what happens when you get on purpose. And when you get on purpose right, as, a, as a company, then the reality is that more people want to deal with you. And so by you using, for example, some of the things around B1G1 to get more on purpose, then more people can get to contribute that way. And uh, those, those, those people, they can also, there's a little thing you can do on B1G1 that you may not have discovered yet. Uh, <laughs> which is called campaign, where you can make, you can invite your customers to actually be a part of some of the projects that you're involved with as well. Mm, that sounds fantastic. No, I have not discovered. There you go. Yet. You see. <laughs> yeah, very good. I'm taking it right away. <laughs> that's great. That's 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 wonderful. Look, I, I have a. I don't want to take too much of your time off, but there's there's one. One other thing. Um, um, you're you're just adding to... to my time. No, you're not taking it. <laughs> there you go. They give and take. It's all giving. <laughs> Wonderful. So um, I guess it's a question of hope. And, and what I find is I have a lot of hope for the future. And, and one reason for that is the generation to come and my belief that society 
moves and and changes and morphs into i guess what's needed and when i look at younger generations people that are you know in their 20s yet right now or younger that the environment and and justice and all all these topics are much more important for them and often much more important than a salary or an income in general as well do you, have you have you noticed something like that um oh, hearing that you yeah, also deal with, with schools yeah. and that yeah and and I, I think there's certainly like it's always like younger people are always more idealistic you could argue well you know that they, they will le- lose this as they get into the real world but i think this is different and um i have seen quite a bit of evidence i was just wondering what what you have observed so far well the 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 latest evidence actually on that is very interesting and um, <laughs> and uh some um, I'm, I'm sure i can drop this name which is deloitte's right and mm-hmm. and and it's a particular division of deloitte's which is called monitor monitor deloitte's and they just did a whole host i mean you know there's a real real getting into some real numbers there and to 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 talk to specifically what one of the things you addressed which was um, you know the the millennials if, if you will bear in mind we need sometimes forget that millennials are actually approaching 40 right now uh, but, anyway, but uh, it, it, it mentioned that 75 uh, percent of those in this particular study uh, would would accept a significant pay cut to now that's not to say they, they you know they're actually that's not what's being offered but would mm. would would would, would uh, accept this significant pay cut to feel this additional sense of purpose by virtue mm. of being in a place notably a company where we spend a lot of time right that is actually on purpose right so yes there mm. there uh, and i read another study today by a company literally this morning actually from a company called fortuna uh, which is a, a really interesting. It's a very deep study. You know, I mean, if you if you want to read the study, you know, give yourself an entire weekend. But 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 there are some really interesting little graphs in those uh, that uh, that say exactly what you're saying. And and uh, you know, we you and I see this, and and, mm-hmm. and I think thank goodness we. Um, you know, we, yeah, it's, it's, it's all part of that, that sort of legacy, if you will, that is, is, is being there. Um, and, you know, and again, that's why our habits are so important because, you know, the kids can learn. But in many cases now, I think it's the kids taking us there, not us taking the yes. kids, right? And, and mm. so, yeah, it, it's... Um, these are fascinating times. We've never experienced them. Uh, well, certainly I've never experienced them. I'm not sure if anyone else has. But, <laughs> but and, and you know, you, you can remember, you know, way back in March, we thought, oh yeah, well, this will only be here for months, you know, and then we'll get back, you know, having fun. Um, but uh, you know, I think some of the uh, some of you know those, those learnings that we have uh, as a result of that, I, I, I you know, and and and. You know, the, the, there's another thing that's going on that, um, you know, where it, it's like there's left or there's right, there's this or this, or you're you're wrong, I'm right, and all that kind of stuff, right? That divisive stuff, and of course, division just breeds division. I mean, that's that's crazy, right? So, mm. so uh-huh. I think we're learning. You see signs of of a learning that you know we we can move uh, beyond that because beyond that is a really great place. Mm, beautiful, beautiful. Totally agree. Um, Paul, I would I would love to finish off by um, by just quickly figuring out figuring out what would be the best way, especially for these young ones, but for everyone really, to to get in touch with B One G One and and maybe just say a, a thing or two about the process of becoming part of B One and G One because I feel of all the organizations we have uh, dealt with over the years of, of becoming a member for whatever reason, not, not necessarily a charity, um, B1G1 has been extremely easy, whether it was the oh. digital way to connect to you, but also just understanding the concept and all the rest of it. Like the steps, like if, if someone says, that's right, you know, I will go to my CEO, the president of my company, whatever, or just my manager and, pro- and, and post this. By the way, there's 
there's such a scale of also like how, what the investment is, which is great. You know, some companies say, look, we have really slim margins. We can't do as much as if we would sell yeah. a luxury item or whatever it might be. Um, would you mind just walking us quickly through these steps so that just to, to show how simple it really is to become part of B1 and G1? Yeah. B1, uh, G1. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The p- funny thing in the, in the United <laughs> Kingdom, there's this... this, this um, uh, uh, predisposition to say B one not to say B one G one but to say Biggie but it's actually B one G one you're quite you're quite right uh, and yeah um, I I I I like to think it's really lovely to hear you say that by the way and and I think that the um, uh, you're you're right because you know traditionally uh, well I, I shouldn't say I think you're right it's lovely to hear that you 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 think it's easy because that's what the feedback is that we get but i think we can we are continuing to make that even easier mm. um so yeah you you i, th- I think uh, and it's quite different than hopefully than you expect right it's it's like there's this group of people that really understand that um, we want to embed this in every every level you know for example if as you know sebastian when when you and I meet on Zoom, as a, as a for example, automatically, automatically, right? 11 kids get access to education, right? Automatically. And, wow. and in order to set that up, it's like ding, a little tick right? mm-hmm. on your... No, I'm not saying, by the way, you should do that. But, but it's, it is just uh, uh, very, very simple. And you can, you know, you can just say, uh, for example, we, we have uh, and kids, you know, we talked about kids before. And we have kids, uh, and just just one just recently actually, and uh, this 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 uh, this kid uh, came home and said to her dad in Sydney, and said, "I hate trigonometry." <laughs> and dad says, "Oh really? Yeah, I, well, I, yeah, I used to do that at school as well, you know. So how can we fix that?" And, and long story short, long story short, the uh, the young lady who actually I spoke to. Uh, the other day, this this young lady, uh, her name is Dali, and uh, in, in, they're in Sydney. And uh, she she didn't say that she loved trigonometry now. She didn't say that, but what she did say was that as, every time she was learning trigonometry, she actually had it set up on her phone, where in the, whenever I do the trigonometry class. And I think it's 10, 10 women somewhere. Get, I, I forget what the actual linkage was, but mm. something great happens. And, and she had actually calculated, she'd actually calculated that in order to make this, this, this fantastic effort that she was making, which is kind of like, uh, it wasn't this, but again, you know, sort of saving a village or something, right? Mm-hmm. That uh, it, it was much more specific than that. But that if she wanted to do all of that, it was going to cost something like, Twenty-five thousand dollars to do that, right? So, but but she said, "Well, that's okay because I've got ten years, and you know, and every time I say, I'm just doing it this way." And so, yeah, and it's it's just, and that is an illustration of just how easy it is, right? But you've got to you've got to go there and try it. And, I, and the other thing I think that is hopefully comes across. By the way, thank you for that feedback. It's pretty lovely. Um, the other thing I, I hope that comes across is that um, it's, it's, you know, I think I, I understand and hopefully we at B1G1 understand. Remember I, I mentioned about connection uh, earlier yeah. on and, and there's another word that's associated with that which is called belonging. And so what, one of the things that we, we try to do is to make that experience such that you just don't feel as though you're connected to it, but you feel that you belong, that you, you know, that it's actually all about you, not about us, if that, if that makes sense. Right? So, yeah, mm. it is easy. Um, and the little b1g1.com where you go and you, you know, you can find out all of the things that uh, we, we've spoken about, but there's a little button there called join, and that's where it gets really easy. <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Paul. Thank you so much for your time and insight as well. I really, really enjoyed it. I learned a lot myself too. Well, I loved your questions. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Go hand in hand. Give and take. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> Thank you. You go well. I wish B1G1 everything imaginably good. Uh, it's great to live a legacy and you are the prime example for 
exactly that and uh, a great role model for many including me to to do the same so thank you so much for being being here uh, sebastian it's just a, an absolute privilege thank you for adding so much to my day it's been great <laughs> brilliant